Well, the kitchen's becoming a sophisticated hub of the home, and there are really some cool smart technologies for the home right now. For example, in front of me, this is GE Monogram's induction cooktop, and it features a new technology called induction cooking. It's really cool. It uses a magnetic field to directly heat a magnetic pan, so it's much more energy efficient. You can see the water is boiling, but the ice is not melting. Isn't that amazing? So it's only heating the area directly where uh, the element is. It also cleans uh, much more efficiently, very easily, with a cloth or a damp sp uh, sponge because food doesn't get cooked in. Very, very cool uh, new innovation from GE Monogram. Well, speaking from hot tech now to cool tech, we're seeing controlled cooling as the newest smart technology in refrigerators. It's really energy efficient. And this is a Samsung Quattro Cooling Convertible Refrigerator. It's the only one, you're going to have to check this out, that has two bottom drawers that you can, in fact, change to either fridge or freezer with a press of a button. Isn't that amazing? So either one can be either thing. So you can imagine if you're having a party, all the possibilities of putting more ice or you could freeze uh, more meat in there. Uh, and, and you could have both of them become freezers, both of them become refrigerators, or you could have one extra freezer. So a lot of really cool uh, energy efficient possibilities. It's available at Lowe's for $2,699. Well, here's another energy efficient tip for you. You know, most Americans heat their water uh, throughout the day, even when they're not using it. Can you imagine that? What a waste of money and resources. Well, now you can have back-to-back -back showers. You could do the laundry. You can run the dishwasher without running out of hot water, thanks to a new smart technology from Ream Tankless Water Systems. Check this out. Internal sensors ignite the gas burners and then heat the water that you actually need. Well, this is a big plus. And the federal government will give you an energy-saving $300 tax credit for installing one. Experts say you can save 25 to 40 percent on your water heating costs. Pretty cool. Well, heating with solar energy is something the government wants us to do and to publicize this. Check this out. Students from all over the world have been building 20 solar powered houses on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. and a competition sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy. There's a 30 percent solar energy tax credit for homeowners and businesses that convert, but the credit ends in December of 2008. So there's part of the future, plenty of smart technologies coming your way to really bring our homes and our lives into the 21st century. I'm Kathleen Demoshi.